Good afternoon and welcome to the Savannah Police Department Promotion and Badge Pinning Ceremony. I'm Katora Green, Public Information Coordinator. Today, Chief Mark Revenue will be promoting 11 officers to the rank of Captain, Lieutenant, and Sergeant. These dedicated men and women have served our department with character and dignity. They have gone through extensive training and their exemplary performance is what led them here today. In addition, we will ceremoniously induct 17 of our newest officers into the Savannah Police Department. These new officers completed 11 weeks of state mandated training at the Georgia Public Safety Training Center in Garden City and eight weeks of patrol school at the Savannah Police Professional Development Center. Now please welcome our newly promoted officers and the newest members of the Savannah Police Department. At this time, will all Savannah Police employees stand to reaffirm our oath of honor. On my honor, I will never betray my office, my integrity, my character, or the public trust. I will always have the courage to hold myself and others accountable for our actions. I will always uphold the Constitution, my community, and the agency I serve. Now will everyone please stand as Chaplain Bill Gardner comes to deliver the invocation. First here are these four verses of Psalm 19. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever, for the judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. Would you pray with me? Heavenly Father, it is with thanksgiving for your many graces and favors that we celebrate this day of commitment, commencement and, and of advancement. We offer thanks and invoke your blessings on this ceremony today. We pray that you will give direction, purpose, perseverance as each one we recognize today enters the next phase of their lives. Give them devotion to duty and clearness of mind to move forward into your plans and purposes that lay before them. Thank you for all of the skills and talents that you have given for everyone that is part of the Savannah Police Department. We humbly ask that you support them, Almighty God, in these new positions as they continue to pursue excellence. May the example of these advancements be an encouragement to all who serve as they witness the reward that comes to those who serve competently and faithfully. We seek your guidance and your blessings on all that is said and done today as we pray affirming that yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Please remain standing for the posting of the colors by the SPD Honor Guard and following the singing of the national anthem by the Garrison Voices led by Director John Tisbert.
And before they leave the stage, can we please give a big round of applause to the Garrison Voices. They are comprised of 7th and 8th graders at Garrison Middle School. And we are certainly proud of them and we are really proud of the youth in our community. So one more time for all the hard work that they put in in the beginning of the school year. Here's a big round of applause for the children. You can be seated. It is now my pleasure to introduce some distinguished guests. We have members of city council here with us today. We have Alderwoman and Mayor Pro Tem Carol Bell. We also have Alderman Bill Durrant, and we have the Pooler Police Chief here with us today, Ashley Brown. I would now like to introduce our command staff led by Chief Mark Revenue. We have Assistant Chief Robert Gavin, Assistant Chief Carrie Thomas, Major Richard Zapel, Major Devon Adams, Captain Carrie Hill, Captain George Gundage, Captain Ben Heron, Captain Joy Gellatly, Captain David Gay, Captain Lenny Gunther, Captain Michelle Halford, Captain David Owens, and Captain Alexander Tobar. We will now have a few words from Alderwoman Carol Bell. Good afternoon. I'm from the church environment, so I'm accustomed to calling and response. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you. On behalf of Mayor Eddie Deloach, who is not in town, and my colleague who's on the front row, Alderman Bill Durrance from the second district, I am always pleased to attend ceremonies like this because it's an honor for us to say thank you to folk who give of themselves tirelessly. I would like to say to the, the promotees and the inductees that we do appreciate the fine work that you do. I'm reminded, Carrie, of a scripture 
and that is, um, I think, uh, I think in uh, John, I think St. John, the scripture tells us that I must work the works of him that sent me while, is, while it is day. Night cometh when no man can work. And I admire you guys because, and ladies, because the work that you has, have chosen is honorable and there are few people who really would choose this line of work but you chose it and we appreciate it. So on behalf of the city council, thank you for all that you do to help to protect the life and property of the men, women, boys and girls in this community. Thank you. It is now my pleasure to welcome Chief Mark Revenue. Welcome everyone. Um, welcome to our distinguished guests, our elected officials, um, and the officers' families. Thank you for taking time out of your busy day to uh, join us on this special occasion. Um, first of all, let me say I'm proud of all of you. Your family's proud of you. Your colleagues are proud of you. Um, you guys have uh, chosen uh, a great line that uh, many before you have chosen. Um, to the new officers, you have been carefully selected to join our profession. And I say profession, it's not a job. Um, you now belong to a network of colleagues and other professionals, um, including network of your classmates. Uh, it's interesting to see uh, you, you're forever linked to your classmates. You'll get to watch some of them excel and flourish in their new careers. And unfortunately, you'll get to see some of them fail who do not hold up to the high standards of the law enforcement profession. Um, but all of you uh, sweat together, you study together, you work together, and probably sometimes you even cry together uh, if you went through the academy I went through. Um, to the promotees, uh, I just want to say um, this is not a time to coast. This is a time to find your fifth gear and uh, force it in there and continue to train, grow, and most importantly, uh, be a mentor to our new colleagues. Um, that said, I would like to uh, congratulate all of you and uh, let's start the ceremony. Thank you. Thank you, Chief Revenue. Now, each of the new promotees will come forward for a ceremonial badge pinning. They have each selected colleagues or family members to pin on their new badge, signifying their rank. As I call your name, please come forward with your designated badge pinners. Captain David Owens. Captain Owens was raised in Vincini's, Indiana, and made Savannah his home in 1981. He served in the Army as a military police officer before joining the department and has been with the Savannah Police Department for 30 years. He has a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree in Criminal Justice Administration and Psychology from Southern New Hampshire University. He is also a graduate of the prestigious Southern Police Institute Administrative Officers course at the University of Louisville. Since joining the department, he served on multiple units to include the SWAT team, traffic, and as the commander of the 911 center. He is now assigned as commander of planning, technology, and administrative management. He is being pinned today by his wife, Laura Owens, and son, Joshua Owens. Congratulations. <laughs> Captain Alexander Tobar. Captain Tobar was raised on the island of Menorah in Spain. He joined the Savannah Police Department in 2005, making this his 13th year of service to the community. He has 23 total years of law enforcement experience. He has an associate's degree from the University of Maryland and a Bachelor of Arts degree in criminal justice from St. Leo University. He has worked as a consultant for the International Association of Chiefs of Police 
and as an instructor training and teaching their leadership and police organizations course. He holds a Georgia Post Management Certificate, a Georgia Supervisory Certificate, and has a Crime Professional Certification. Captain Tobar has worked in many units to include patrol, crime prevention, crime suppression, property crimes, robbery, homicide, internal affairs, and police training. He currently serves as the training director for the department. Today, Captain Tobar is being pinned by his father, retired senior master sergeant, Ray Tobar, and brother, retired Lieutenant Colonel David Tobar. Congratulations. <laughs> Lieutenant Shamanica Beatty. Lieutenant Beatty was raised in Millen, Georgia. She joined the police department in 2006, making this her 12th year as an officer. She has a bachelor's degree in criminal justice and homeland security and holds a master's degree in critical incident management. She successfully completed the leadership and police organizations course and is an adjunct professor at Savannah State University. Since joining the force, she has worked in property crimes and robbery and as a Southside Precinct Watch Sergeant. She was previously assigned to the robbery unit and is now a lieutenant in the Criminal Investigations Division. Pinning her today is her godfather, Lieutenant Racine Cheney with Chatham County Police, Sergeant Craig Fields with Chatham County Police, and her uncle, Kim Williams. I also want to mention that today is her birthday, so happy birthday and congratulations. Lieutenant Raymond Retzer. Lieutenant Retzer's hometown is Atlanta, Georgia. He joined the police force in 2001, making this his 17th year of service. He has a Bachelor of Science degree in criminal justice from St. Leo University and successfully completed the IACP Leadership in Police Organizations course. Since joining Savannah Police, he has worked in various units to include patrol, the crime suppression unit, recruiting, and most recently as a court liaison. He is now assigned to the East Side Precinct. He is being pinned today by his wife, Barbara, son, Raymond, and daughter, Emma. Congratulations. Sergeant John Garcia. Sergeant Garcia was born in Texas. He joined the department in 2009, making this his ninth year of service. He received his bachelor's degree in information technology at the former Armstrong State University. Since joining Savannah Police, he's been certified as an FBI alert active shooter instructor. He's worked in multiple units to include the Crime Suppression Unit in Central Precinct, the Aviation Unit, SWAT Team as a Downtown Precinct Detective, and a Homicide Detective. His previous assignment was the FBI Violent Crimes Task Force. He is now with Northwest Precinct. He is being pinned today by his wife, Sarah Garcia. Congratulations. <laughs> Sergeant Kelvin Ansari. Sergeant Ansari was raised in Charlotte, North Carolina. He joined the Savannah Police Department after retiring from the Army with 21 dedicated years. He has a bachelor's degree in criminal justice from Troy University. He's worked in various units in the department to include patrol, public housing, and as a Northwest Precinct investigator. He has been with the department for nine years. He was previously assigned to the Northwest Precinct and is now with Central Precinct. Pinning him today is his wife, Charlotte Ansari, son, Michael King, and daughter, Naya Ansari. Congratulations.
Sergeant Kenneth Leach. Sergeant Leach was raised in Savannah and graduated from Savannah High School. He went on to serve in the Army for three years and studied at the Primper Military School and College. Since joining the Savannah Police Department 15 years ago, he has worked on patrol and on the Crime Suppression Unit in the Northwest Precinct. He was previously serving in the Northwest Precinct and is now assigned to Eastside Precinct. Pinning him today is his wife, Kimberly Leach, and brother, Command Sergeant Major Michael Leach. Congratulations, Sergeant Leach. Sergeant Eugene Solomon. Sergeant Solomon was raised in Savannah. He graduated from Savannah High School in 1983. He has been with the department for 18 years. He has an associate's degree in criminal justice from Ashworth College. Since joining the force, he's worked in public housing enforcement, traffic enforcement, and as a property crimes detective. He was previously with the Eastside Precinct and is now assigned to the Northwest Precinct. He is being pinned today by his wife, Kimberly Solomon, and son, Corporal Antonio Solomon, with Chatham County Police. Congratulations, Sergeant Solomon. Sergeant Brian Spence. Sergeant Spence was raised in Savannah and graduated from Windsor Forest High School. He served in the United States Marine Corps before joining Savannah Police in 2009. He has been with the department for nine years. He is a part of the Georgia Crisis Intervention Team and has been a patrol training officer. Since joining the department, he has worked on patrol, the SWAT team, and on the Highway Enforcement of Aggressive Traffic Team, also known as the Heat Unit. His previous assignment was the Traffic Unit. He is now with Eastside Precinct. Pinning him today is Pooler Police Chief Ashley Brown and retired Savannah Police Captain John Best, who is currently the adjunct to the Pooler Police Chief. Congratulations. Sergeant Richard Wiggins. Sergeant Wiggins was raised in Savannah and graduated from Savannah Christian Preparatory School. He earned his bachelor's degree in business administration from Valdosta State University. He joined the department in 2010, making this his eighth year of service. He has worked on the crime suppression unit in property crimes and financial crimes and in the Criminal Investigations Division on the Aggravated Assault and Homicide Units. He was previously assigned as a detective in financial crimes and is now with Southside Precinct. He is being pinned today by his wife, Lindsay Wiggins, and their daughter, Lillian. Congratulations, Sergeant Wiggins. Sergeant Sean Kinzer was also promoted, but he could not be here today. He has been with the department for 17 years. He was previously assigned to the traffic unit, and he is now with Northwest Precinct. Can we please congratulate him for his accomplishment as well? Now it is time to present the official Savannah Police Department badges to these officers. As I call your name, 
please come forward along with your designated badge pinner. Officer Jamika Aiken. She is being pinned today by her father, Darnell, and mother, Denise Houston. She is assigned to the Southside Precinct. Congratulations, Officer Aiken. <laughs> Officer Melissa Cabrera. She is being pinned today by her father, Louis Cabrera, and mother, Maritza Cabrera. She is assigned to Central Precinct. And congratulations, Officer Cabrera. <laughs> Officer Christian Conte. He was being pinned today by his wife, Virginie, and his mother, Gina Conte. He is assigned to Central Precinct. Congratulations. <laughs> Officer John Dorse. He is being pinned today by his father, John Doris. He is assigned to the Northwest Precinct. Congratulations. Officer Jacob Duarte. He is being pinned today by his fiance, Sydney Nelson, and mother, Judy Duarte. He is assigned to the East Side Precinct. Congratulations. <laughs> Officer Michael Grossman. He is being pinned today by his wife, Tracy Grossman and son, Wyatt. He 
He is assigned to the east side precinct. Congratulations. <laughs> Officer Luis Esquina. He is being pinned today by his mother, Susanna Esquina, and stepfather, Kaunando Ramirez. He is assigned to the Northwest Precinct. Congratulations. Officer Stephen Geit. He is being pinned today by his father, William Geit. He is assigned to the Northwest Precinct. Congratulations. <laughs> Officer Tori Clue. She is being pinned today by her father and mother, Tabitha and Donald Clue. She is assigned to the Northwest Precinct. Congratulations. <laughs> Officer Justin Milam. He is being pinned today by his father and mother, Sonia and Bob Milam. He is assigned to the South Side Precinct. Congratulations. Officer Ernest Mobley III. He is being pinned today by his friend Fred. He is assigned to the Central Precinct. Congratulations. <laughs> Officer Devin O'Neill. He is being pinned today by his father, David O'Neill. He is assigned to the Northwest Precinct. Congratulations.
Officer Robert Parker. He is being pinned today by his friend, Sergeant Matt Hewitt with Savannah Police. He is assigned to the East Side Precinct. Congratulations. <laughs> Officer Jessica Pepin. She is being pinned today by her friend, Pamela Rodriguez and Father Don Wayman. She is assigned to the South Side Precinct. Congratulations. <laughs> Officer Matthew Purdy. He is being pinned today by his fiance, Jenny Crocker, and mother, Liz Purdy. He is assigned to the South Side Precinct. Congratulations. <laughs> Officer Hunter Tuttle. He is being pinned today by his girlfriend, Cassidy Stringer, and father, Star Corporal Mark Tuttle with Savannah Police. He is assigned to the Central Precinct. Congratulations. <laughs> Officer Victor Wong. He is being pinned today by one of his training instructors, Corporal Charles Puente. He is assigned to the South Side Precinct. Congratulations. <laughs> It is now my pleasure to introduce Luciana Spratcher, the City of Savannah Clerk of Council. She will administer the oath of office to the graduates. Please stand and raise your right hand. And repeat after me. I state your name. Do you solemnly swear? That to the best of my ability and skill, I will, during my continuance in office, faithfully discharge all the duties which may be required of me, 
in all cases, in all cases. Conform, to the rules and regulations, conform to the rules and regulations, which shall be made by the mayor and aldermen of the city of Savannah, and support and uphold the constitutions of the United States and the state of Georgia. I further swear that I am not the holder of any unaccounted for public money Do this state or any political subdivision or authority, thereof, or authority thereof, that I am not the holder, not the holder of any office, of any office or, trust or trust under the government of the United States, under the government of the United States any, other state, any other state, or any foreign state, any foreign state which, I the the which I am by the laws of the state of Georgia prohibited from holding, holding. and that I am otherwise qualified to hold said office according to the Constitution and laws of Georgia. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you our newest men and women of blue, sworn officers and members of the Savannah Police Department. Please join me in giving a round of applause to the promotees and the graduates. Congratulations. Please remain standing for the benediction by Chaplain Gardner. Would you pray with me, please? Good and gracious Lord, we thank you for what we have witnessed here today, and we ask you. For your mercy's sake, to continue your grace and favor towards us. May the sun of your love never go down out of our hearts. Let your truth abide and be established among us forever. Help our unbelief. Increase our faith. And give us hearts to love you more as we seek, as the scripture dictates, to do justice, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with our God. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Thank you. I would like to thank the members of our training staff who worked hard to make this day possible. We have our training director, Captain Alexander Tobar, and his staff, Sergeant William Bailey, Star Corporal Stephen Rivers, Corporal Matthew Cross, Corporal Marcus Page, and Corporal Charles Puente. We also want to thank the members of our recruitment office. We have the supervisor, Sergeant Sean Carr, and Corporal Shauna Brown. Now, we know it takes many days and nights of hard work to be successful at any profession you choose, but law enforcement takes an extra level of endurance. A great support system makes all the difference. Due to that, we want to thank all of you family and friends who came to support and congratulate these officers. This concludes our ceremony today on behalf of Chief Revenue, Assistant Chiefs Thomas and Gavin, and the entire department, thank you for coming. You can purchase pictures from today's ceremony in the lobby. Please take part in the refreshments that are in the lobby as well. And other pictures from today's ceremony will be on our Facebook page. So make sure when you check it out that you like it too. We would really appreciate it. And before any of the graduates and promotees leave, please come on stage. Thank you. And again, congratulations.